I'm here with David at Humboldt Occupy, Hi. and uh, I'm going to uh, ask David a few questions and give him a uh, free reign to comment here. So David, how, how long have you been pursuing this whole Occupy thing? Uh, shortly before Halloween last year. And, and have you been in one place this whole time, or? No, I've traveled. Um, I started out at uh, the Arcata Plaza, and that moved to City Hall. And in that whole time, I came up to HSU a couple times. From there, from City Hall, I went to San Francisco and hit up most of the occupies there. Um, Camp Merced was a fun one. And um, now I'm back. Occupying. <laughs> okay. And would you say your your overall experience with Occupy has been positive, or, or, or were there any hairy moments? Uh, do you have any problem with the police? There were hairy moments. Cops kind of got out of hand. They hurt people. That's not all right. Um, I came out, I don't know, with this new kind of intense luster to it all. <laughs> Just going to do something. I got to meet people. I got to have experiences I would otherwise shield myself from. Um, and that's, that's an experience being homeless and really being homeless uh, opened my eyes to so much. And so would you say in general that, uh, that homelessness uh, and as such a bad problem it is, it, as it is here in California and in the United States, would you say that this is a large part of what is causing the Occupy movement is a general state of homelessness? Um, well, there's so many angles to approach it from. A lot of it seems to be uh, financial matters. And financial matters hit people in so many different areas and in so many different ways. I notice differences between an Occupy on a college campus versus an Occupy like in Justin Herman Plaza in San Francisco. On campuses, you had more students voicing their complaints about diminishing class sizes, or sorry, diminishing class numbers, increasing class sizes, increasing tuition. Whereas in Justin Herman Plaza, there's people talking about homelessness and jobs and just that having that fire inside to do something. Um, and it, they're, they're, they're all talking about similar things from different angles. So I don't know if that answered your question. Um, if not, feel free to ask again. Well, any answer is good. Um, so uh, what would you say, uh, if anything, has, has changed for you personally since the beginning of before you were involved and having been involved since last year uh, as, you, as you were? Um, well, just about everything I own has been gifted to me at this point. Uh, or I found it uh, in a free bin or on the sidewalk. Uh, I'm juggling now. Uh, before, I, I, I had no idea what I wanted to do with college. Uh, I just took the ride because it would keep me from having to work. Uh, and then I got a job, a couple jobs, um, and it just never felt right. It's because I, don't, I just didn't know who I was. I still don't know who I am. It's growing. It's, it's this new concept every day evolving and living and just practicing saying yes. <laughs> and. Um, I just came away from it, I feel smaller and bigger, you know, more grounded uh, and more caring. But that's me saying it, so it's hard to, you know, speak well of myself or something. In what ways would you say that the Occupy movement helped you grow? In what ways? Um, to discover that we're all the same behind our eyes? You know, just because I have some idea of an opinion about somebody doesn't make them less human. Just because I might have a negative view of myself doesn't make me less than human. And, you know, I just got to see the humanity in, in really strange situations. You know, people who I might, you know, I, I might have had thoughts of violence toward and wanting to spare them of their grief moments later, you know, it was just strange. And, uh, you know, just showed me that all of this out here is a reflection of me to myself. So how dare I treat anyone less than perfect, or try, you know, whatever. It's, it's just living life, trying. So here at HSU, it's rather different from most of the occupies in that you guys actually have official permission to be here from yeah. the student council. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, that is different. There's, 
I've not even really seen cops around here. We got a cleverly placed uh, video camera. I make sure to juggle in front of it sometimes. <laughs> um, but it's, it's been really mellow. The students, uh, at first they helped out, they brought food, they brought uh, supplies or uh, plug-ins to various infrastructures such as the internet and things like that. Um, and since then they've kind of stepped away, but they're still here. And so, you know, sometimes there'll be people juggling out here, drumming out here, and uh, that gives Occupy a chance to participate in the community as well with the students, with non-students. It's really fun. Um, so be, I, the only difference really is we're not being a hassle for people. <laughs> you know, when I see someone new, I offer, I, I don't know, I offer them food and see if they want a hacky sack. And anything you'd like to say about these things in clothes? Um, I'm a liar first because I'm not the one with the hacky sack. Oftentimes I go join the hacky sack circle, but I mean it gets the point across. So I did want to correct that because that was a lie. Um, but you know, other than that, uh, just think of Bill and Ted, man. <laughs>